Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for tuning in, whether live or catching a replay. My super guest, Victoria Monique, will be giving us a live demo on how she serves others to release the resistance to their dreams. It's called a calibration. Victoria will be working with a guest, wonderful Sarah, live. If you're smart, you'll be able to play along for your own issue. We'll also be chatting about manifesting and getting into her backstory. Victoria will be selling up and going traveling again fairly soon. She also has a global brand for her vegan lipstick. We're not currently doing anything with it. I must admit, I admire people with such an adventurous spirit. Welcome to the show, Victoria. Thank you for agreeing to do this. Thank you so much for inviting me, Danny. I'm super happy to be here and have this conversation with you, not just for us, but also for other people to follow along. I'm excited. Yeah, exactly. We've got people somebody jumping on already. Do say hi, um, whether now or catching the replay. Put me questions, comments, anything in the in the chat. Um, so, Victoria, I wonder if we could start us off by sharing a bit about how you got into your how you got to your spiritual path, manifesting and that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. So, the first part of it was because. Connecting the, doc, the dots backwards, I always believed in more. Always. Since when I was very little, I was born in Suriname. Uh, my mom is Indian. My dad is African. And so I don't know if you know this, but for me, these cultures are pretty superstitious and have beliefs in more than the eyes meet, uh, usually. So this it was natural to me to believe in more than we can see. Um, fast forward to about 12 years ago, I would say, or 10 years ago, it doesn't really matter exactly. I was so fed up with doing life according to how people say life is supposed to be. Uh, go to work nine to five, you're free, you're off at the weekends, you party in the weekends, you drink until you're in a coma, and then you start work again on Monday. So that was my life. And I was like, at one point, I don't, I don't want this life. I couldn't see another, I couldn't see, um, I didn't have a vision for myself in the field that I was working. I couldn't see myself working anyone, uh, anywhere actually. And so coincidentally, which I now know isn't a coincidence at all. It was me speaking to me, however you want to call it, God, the universe, my higher self. I saw at this very moment that I thought, oh, I don't want this life anymore, but what, what can I do? In the city of Amsterdam, when I was, where I was living at the time, um, and I'm back now, but I will get into that later. Um, there was this campaign running for the lung disease ALS. And it would say on posters that I would I would take the route where these posters are displayed and the posters would say, these people have six months to live or this and this person has recently died. And I started playing with the question and not just playing, like really tuning into what if this was me? What if I had this disease and, and I had just six more months to live? What would I do? And I was like, oh, I would quit my job. I would quit. I would travel. So from that point, everything just started going in a stream, in a, in a super fast. Yeah, everything just came together. I quit my job. Um, I went working part-time first. I got a freelance job that was so serendipitous how everything, which allowed me to make a lot of cash, which allowed me to quit my job completely. Shall I go on with the story? Yeah, can I go? I don't, <laughs> life, okay. Which allowed me to quit my job or allowed me, it, it allowed, I felt safer to say, hey guys, ciao. I'm traveling. I, I don't know what's happening, but I just go. So that's when everything really started. I also decided that I would never, ever, ever go back to working in an office. 
no matter what. So I had to trust that there was something more. I had to, because the old way wasn't working for me anymore. And that's when I shortly after met you, because my trip in Australia was amazing and connect, connecting the dots backwards. That's where my vegan lipstick brand was born. And I met you shortly after through the big life because I was looking for something that would feed the other knowledge that I knew existed, but I didn't know what it was. So that's the first part. Ah, I can't hear you, Danny. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry for touching up before, but anyway. Um... Tell us about your vegan lipstick brand, your lippy brand. How did that go about? How did you start that? Yeah. So um, shall I just start? Yeah, I'll just start in Australia where, where it is. So this trip of mine, when I decided to leave the nine to five and go to Australia, I had this strong desire to do something that was for more than just my bank account. And that was just that was assisting in a fun way to a cause that I believed in. And I wanted it to be something that was fun and little, I wanted to make little presents. And I had, I had no idea what it was going to be. So at the time when I was in Australia, because I was already past the age of 30, uh, I could not get a working visa. So I had my days were like super long. I didn't have anything to do kind of like I was in a relationship, but he was working. And so I had a lot of time on my hands. I was, I was, I was so extremely deeply in love with nature there. And I felt so connected. I decided to start to eat vegan. Um, because for me, it felt that was the thing to do. And it's not, it's like, it was never a head thing. It was always a heart thing. And then I learned that actually makeup wasn't vegan standard. And I thought, what, what do you mean? Makeup isn't vegan. And then, or actually I have to turn it around. I found vegan makeup. And then I was like, what do you mean vegan makeup? And then I found out there's animal producing makeup. And now, yeah, long story short, I found my way. I was like, oh, this is it. I can do something for the animals, for the planet, and something that I like, what is close to me, like something fun and joyful. Very smart. I don't have one with me here. I, I will pick one later to show you because it's it's a super playful, beautiful little product that allowed me to spread a message uh, which I uh, really strongly believed in at the time, because it, it evolved over time, uh, in a fun way, because I don't like to be like, don't do, when someone is, says to me, don't do this, I'm like, okay, I'm going to do that just because you tell me what not to do. So for me, this was a fun way of letting people know, hey, you know what, makeup, Usually there's actually a lot of crap in there and it's also not really nice for animals. Um, yeah. And so it was crazy magical, everything that happened with the brand, but I believe that's too long for now because we have something else that we will be doing. No, you didn't miss it, Colleen. Nice to hear here. Um, yeah. So that's that's how that came about and um so it was asleep for a while and now it's starting to uh boil percolate again and what do you know i got someone reaching out to me uh, a previous store in uh, germany that wants to uh, resell again i was like huh because everything just comes to you when you're in the flow things just come you don't have to chase ever no, that's true. That's true. And um, I remember when we first connected, you know, your lippy brand was just taking off. And, you know, every time, you know, every day and every week that went by, you had new orders, new new uh, distribution, you know, and the list went on. And it just seemed to, you obviously didn't have any or much resistance in the way between 
where you wanted to be and where you were. It was just kind of happening organically because you were in this, this flow state, as it were. It was were, you doing, were you doing anything at that time to, to remove the resistance? Were you doing any techniques or anything? No, actually, no, because at that time, now connecting the dots backwards again, I know what I was doing, but I didn't frame it in that way or I didn't phrase it in that way. What I was doing mostly, and that's actually, it's the same. I was vibing super high because I did what I loved. I allowed myself to take a leap of faith. I left Amsterdam. So I came back from Australia, started everything up, story for another time if people are interested. I moved to Berlin where I was completely, I was able to reinvent myself because nobody knew me. I could you know, be become and be a completely different version of me, which had been calling me for a long time already. And I was finally listening. And so I was so happy and I was just like, I don't know how, but I know it's going to work, you know, like that, just like kid in a candy store, actually. And so now I know because you can do that on purpose. You can do that on purpose too. and But I wasn't doing that on purpose. I was just feeling high on life because I was doing something new. And I didn't have to work in an office. And I was, I felt like I owned the world. I was free the whole day, every day. And I could do what I wanted to do whenever I wanted to do it. So I was vibing high naturally. And when you're vibing high, you're... I equate it always to a, to a motorway. So either you're on a motorway that is, there's a traffic jam from here till Tombuktu when you're vibing low. And when you're vibing high, you're on the same highway and the highway's clear. Everyone's on a holiday. I don't know. Like, I don't know where they are, but you can just, you know, you can just go. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. You're in the, the outside lane and the fast lane. It's just... Passing by yeah. all the traffic. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Um, so how did you get into this modality and now using the, the calibration? How did that go about? Yeah. Yeah, well, so this is pretty recent that I started uh, to do this. My teacher, uh, Gina Mallison is her name. She... She invented this method based on all of her teachings. So she's very deep into Abraham Hicks. Um, and interestingly enough, now that I know her a little and know her background, she was into all of the same teachers that I've been following through the years. So it was not a coincidence that our paths would cross at one point. And um, so it's based on NLP. And I... I think, um, so I had a strong desire to continue on this path because when you start out, maybe you recognize this, Danny, or anyone else listening, when you start, start out on the path of manifesting, so manifesting is everything. So I like to say con conscious or deliberate creation. When you start out, it's kind of like hit and miss, and then you find like, okay, this is the frame, and then you try to do it on purpose. and and at one point I thought, yeah, I understand all of this, but I know that there must, there is more, there's always more, do you know? And so I had this strong desire to expand and expand um, in a way that would narrow everything back down because you can go in all directions. You can also make it really easy. And now with the calibration, so I'm like, oh, yeah, of course, this makes sense. But I guess that's kind of part of the journey always. Like you get all this knowledge from everywhere. It doesn't matter in which field of where you are. And all of a sudden you're like, ah, oh, I can skip that. I can put, this is actually the essence. So now I'm, actually, I'm back to the essence. And it, does, it doesn't mean to me that I think the rest was a waste of time because I love that I've learned that. And I love that I understand and trust because I've been in, in so many directions that this is actually how it works. This is what it boils down to because everything in the end comes from us. 
So it makes sense that when there's resistance in the body, which means your highway isn't flowing, there's a traffic jam in your highway, then nothing really works the way you want it to work because there's a kink in the hose and the water isn't coming through. Yeah, so I'm not sure if that answers the question. I tend to go on, <laughs> on tangents a lot. Yeah, did I answer your question? Yeah. Yes, you did. Um, and I don't know, there's, as you see, there's so many different ways we can go into this, but I know you've got, you're going to do a live demonstration for us um, with Sarah, who we're going to bring in in a moment. Um, and for those watching, whether live or on a replay, you can just sort of listen and, you know, like equate this to your own issues, your own challenges, and uh, hopefully get your own resolution, your own shift in this uh, live stream. So we're going to bring Sarah in. Um, if that's okay, are you ready? Me? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm ready. Is so yes, Sarah, the wonderful Sarah Jane Flew, um, a previous guest on the show. How are you doing, Sarah? Um, I'm very well. Good, good. Um, so I might just kind of disappear off the stream because you don't need me at the moment, and I'll be in the green room waiting to come back at some point. Um, I remember how to do this. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so for everyone watching and for you, Sarah, I'm going to explain a little what this is about and what we will be doing. So for everyone who wants to um, play along, understand that this is vibrational work. So it's not about the words per se, even if you would fall asleep listening for you that doesn't Sarah I need to interact with you so it wouldn't be helpful if you fall asleep but anyone else who falls asleep at any time even with audiobooks you get the vibration and it is about the vibration in the end so all is well um, what we will be doing is I'm going to ask you in a minute Sarah what is there anything in your life that feels kind of off that you're like uh oh, this is icky this is a sticky topic it's um are you familiar with abraham hicks Sarah? i love abraham ah uh, me too so abraham speaks about wobbles so i'm going to ask you if if you have a wobble at the moment and then without going too much into the story because it's not about the story it's about getting out of the story and into the body and we're going to explore this wobble in a different way than uh, other modalities do. Or maybe it has similar, I don't want to go into other modalities. So we will be exploring this wobble without words. Well, with words, but without the story. The goal of a calibration is to feel just a little bit better. If you feel much better, that's amazing. That that will be an amazing plus. But, and, it can also be too much of a pressure for the person that is being calibrated. So I'm going to check with you constantly. Does this feel, because we're going to change what's going on in the body and it all will become clear when we start. I'm going to ask you often, does this feel a little bit better, worse or the same? So our goal is to have you feel just a little bit better about the topic that we will be doing something with. Does that make sense? Yeah. Can you hear me clearly? Yes. Good. Okay. Then before I'm going to ask you to close your eyes, I would like to know from you, is there anything that you would like to work on? Anything that you have a wobble about? Yes. Do you need to know what it is? Well, I would like to know a little and when, and you can, you can tell me as much as you want, but I might stop you not to be rude, but just because it's not really interesting to get too much of the story. Hmm. So you can just start and um, I will let you know that. Uh, 
I, <laughs> I trained as a kinesiologist and, and in energy medicine. Um, and it was amazing. But <clears throat> I don't want to do one to ones with people. And I don't think I even want to do it anymore. I feel like I just want to okay. be completely free of all responsibility, all commitment, and just focus yeah. on myself. And yeah, it feels it feels that's what I want to do, but it also at the same time it feels very selfish. Okay, that's a really nice one to work on. So you feel selfish. My, that's yeah can you close your eyes can you sense this feeling of selfishness in your body and tell me when you have sensed it and where you sense it i would say throat Okay, so in a moment, I'm going to ask you So I, I or you or both, we dropped out for a moment. Can you hear me, Sarah? I can now, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, perfect. So in a moment, I am going to ask you to make this feeling as big as you can. And I want you to know that at any time you're, first of all, you're safe and we're playing in imagination. So nothing can happen to you that is not wished or that is bad for you. So I want you to make this feeling in the throat, this feeling of selfishness, as big as you can make it and tell me when you're there. Okay, that's big. Okay, so is this feeling, this thing in your throat, is it moving at all or is it still? It's still. It's still. And can you sense if it has a form to it? It's <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> it's like a lump in my throat. <clears throat> a lump. To clear my throat. And, would you, mm. and would you say it's like um, a circular lump or is it a square lump or is it um, a blob how would you describe it <clears throat> it's a blob a blob and is it dense or is it more liquid or airy it's dense it's dense very good does it have a color? It, it's it's like a if I said a marrow bone, would that mean anything yeah. to you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's like a marrow bone. It's shaped like a bone, like a dog bone, and it's that okay. sort of ivory <clears throat> bony yeah. color. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so if you have a bone, would it then be like, is it a horizontally placed or is it vertically placed or? It's horizontal. Okay, horizontal, very good. Okay, so now I have a feeling, so you obviously don't feel good with this. And I have a feeling that this bone shaped lump in your throat doesn't feel too good either. I'm not a hundred percent sure though. Can you check with it how it feels and if it would like to feel 
just a little bit better. It would like to be softer. It would like to be softer. Okay, wonderful. So now we're playing a game of imagination and it's already playing with us and it says that it wants to be softer, which is amazing. So it means it's there for you. Are you willing to have it be softer? Yes. Okay, go ahead and let it change into a softer tone. Let me know when you're there. Really good I, release from all this energy. Very yeah, good. yawning is uh, energy moving through me. Yes, very good. So allow it to change its density to something softer. And tell me when you're there. Yeah, so it's um, it's melting now. It's, it's like melting. dissolving. It's sort of melting, wow. so it's liquid. Cool. <clears throat> So, does this feel better, worse, or the same? Yeah, it feels better, yeah. Better. For you as well as for the thing? Yeah. Okay. So, you said it was melting. Is there anything still there, though? Yeah. Okay. So, what is there? Can you describe it for me? That's a puddle of goo. <laughs> <laughs> and can you check with it does it like to be a puddle of goo or would it like to when it can be anything it wants no judgment and also when it doesn't feel good we can change it back if it could be anything it wants what would it like to be it would like to be bubbles that float away oh Ooh, are you okay with that yeah well, allow it to be bubbles that float away. And tell me, where are they going? Do they have a certain color? <clears throat> They're just like bubbles, like soap bubbles. Nice, like iridescent? Yeah. Beautiful. So allow the bubbles to float away and tell me <laughs> where you see them happening. Yeah, so no, this is perfect. They're coming up. <laughs> This is amazing. Please let everything let oh, it go. Yeah. Let it rip. It's coming up. So yeah. It's better. So yeah. all of the bubbles are now floating out of your mouth. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Can you see them in front of you? Where are they? Yeah, they're just coming up and they're going off. And then they're popping and disappearing. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> so I can. I can imagine, but I would love to hear from you. Does this feel better, worse, or the same? <sighs> um, it feels better. Oh, that's mm. really good. So is there still anything happening in your throat? Uh, I think there's still a slight residue there. Okay. A bit more resistance to it yeah let's let's tune in let's tune into this residue how does it look it's a sharp jagged it's like a chicken bone when it's broken so it's really oh, yeah. sharp and jagged and is it also that texture it's uh hard and it's it's, it's, it's got the yeah so it's it's it's, it's like a shaft but with a, yeah. a point on one end so it's yeah it doesn't look very nice it's it's almost as if it's stuck in my throat like, like okay and is it again bent. horizontal or is it vertical this time? it's horizontal yeah horizontal mm -hmm. okay and is it moving at all or is it still no it's just yeah sorry it's still no please go ahead this is really good so it's still and mm. um does it have the color of a chicken bone like this yellowish white ivory yeah with the red like the ready center ah, of the bone. on the inside yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah and it's cool. got it's quite uh it's porous so i can see yeah the holes all the little holes yeah. like air holes yeah. in it so it's oh, almost wow. like ivory 
Yeah. Mm, that makes sense. Yeah. Can you check with a little piece of chicken bone if it would like to feel better? <sighs> because I imagine it doesn't like being this. Maybe it does. Check with it if you want. No, it doesn't want to be sharp and jagged like that. What does it want to be? Can you ask it? It wants to be smooth like a pebble, like a, a pebble on the beach. Yeah. With all the little holes in it. That's what it wants nice. to be. Yeah. Can you, are you okay with that? With allowing mm -hmm. it transform into a pebble? Mm -hmm. Well, go mm -hmm. ahead. Give it permission. Let mm -hmm. me know when you're there. Take your time. Is it resisting or what's mm, going on? Mm, mm, yeah. mm. Okay. Maybe this is just uh let's explore. Maybe it's scared. Can you check with it? Maybe it's scared to transform. <sighs> Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you ask it what it needs to feel safe to transform? <sighs> it needs, uh, <laughs> it what needs, uh, like singing vibration ah that's amazing yeah. okay but who's gonna sing that's the question <laughs> <clears throat> i think it, it needs uh music so song the singing uh ah. mm -hmm. and does it have a um preference mm -hmm. for a certain song that it likes can you check Uh, if it, this, so what it wants is it wants the C yeah. to like a C shapes pebbles and glass yeah. Yeah. to smooth it. So okay. it's like the song of the C. Okay. Ah, wow. That's beautiful. <laughs> what a beautiful metaphor. So... I have another idea that might be nice, but check if it feels good to you and to it. You might be able to want to, or it might want to pop out of your body and transform out of your body. Do you think that's an option that you pop it out and have it transform in the sea? If not, totally fine. Yeah, it seems to want oh. to come out. It's whist it's Wonderful. Just, uh, the whistling, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. allow yeah. it to pop out of your body and let me know once it's, once it's outside of your body. Take your time, no rush. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's out. Good. Nice. So is it transforming? Is it playing with the sea? <sighs> the sand? It's. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. It's a stone. Ah, so it already transformed. It's a stone. Yeah. So it's smooth now. Nice. And what color is it? white and what emotion does it feel it feels peace peace that's good and how do you feel 
peaceful. Peaceful. So I want you to go ahead and make this feeling of peace as big as you can make it. And take your time and just really milk this wonderful, peaceful feeling. And maybe you want to tell me where in your body you feel this peaceful feeling in your chest. Heart, yeah. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. ah, allow this peaceful feeling in your heart to grow as big as you can grow it. Okay. Just let me know when it feels complete. Take your time. No rush. <laughs> yeah. I've just filled the room with it, so that's good. <sighs> Mm -hmm. Is the pebble still there in your vicinity? Or yeah. Is it off doing its own thing? Where is it? It's just to my left. To your left. And do you like it being there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll take it down to the sea when I go next. Ah. Oh, that's nice. And do a nice <laughs> little ritual with it. Yeah. Uh, how does it feel that you're taking it down to the sea? Happy. <laughs> that's really nice. Enjoy this feeling of connection and how you can serve it and how it has been serving you. And this peaceful feeling in your heart. Thank you. We're not done. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. We're not done yet. I want to ask. So we started the session with you having a wish for yourself, for your future, and having yeah. a certain thought, limiting belief about it. So when you think of that thought now, if it's, if it's possible for you with your eyes closed still, if you think of what you were feeling and thinking before from this vantage point, what would you say about that thought now? It is selfish to want to do my own thing. Um, I can't really bring it to mind. It's not there. Perfect. That's amazing. So it doesn't really matter what happens, but we can go into it just a little. And that's, it's a vibration shift. It's a change of perspective. You're closer or maybe even not even closer. You're now the perspective of source. Does that feel resonant for you? Mm -hmm. Great. Is there anything else that you feel you would like to calibrate on or do you feel complete? Um, how much time have you got? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, this topic, it's about this topic. Is there um, anything else you would like to do with this topic? I, so it's the throat. Um, I need to, I want to, on the same topic of um, what we started with, if you feel okay. like there's still some okay, residue, mm. uh, not really happy, then we have time to go ahead. And... Do you feel something in your stomach? Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's explore. We still have time. So what is the feeling that you have in your stomach? So I'm getting an image of um, a knot, like a rope, a really thick rope tied in a knot as a really yeah. tight knot. Uh, that doesn't feel too good, does it? No. And does this knot have a collar? So it's like a rope color, rope um, color. And, it, and it's very dirty. 
Yeah. It, it feels really dirty, like it's been under the sea and it's very, so it's got green, yeah, sort of slimy and, yeah. and, and green stuff and brown stuff from the sea. It feels like yeah. very old and very, like, like it's off of a really old ship and it's been under the sea yeah. for a long time, that, that yeah. sort of thing. Okay. And is it big yeah. or is it small? It's Just big. big. Like, and is it in? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it inside of your body or is it maybe also a bit outside of your body? No, it's just there. It's it's only like about a short length of rope, about that, and it's just a knot. Yeah. And um, so the texture is also rough, just checking. I guess it's dense. De yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so can you check with it how does it feel to be this slimy, <sighs> brownish, super old, dense knot? It feels, it feels sad. It feels redundant. It feels uh, like it's past its date and it's it has no use. Yeah, it, yeah. It used used to have a use, but it has yeah. no use anymore. It's no that's redundant. Not such a nice feeling, is it? And how do you feel about that? What happens when you sense that feeling? Well, I don't want it in my stomach. <laughs> So I, I have no that. I have no use for it. I don't want it, you know, so okay. I'd like it to go. Okay. So can you check with it if it wants to play a game of imagination with us to help it feel just a little bit better? Yeah, it would like that. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. So no judgment whatsoever. What would it love to be this? thick, slimy, old, redundant knot. What would it love to be? And it can be anything what it wants. <laughs> like a di it can become a disco ball if it wishes to. Like it can <laughs> anything that it wants, no judgment. And even it can change back if it doesn't feel good. Do, do you know what it wants to be? It wants to be a mermaid. A mermaid? <laughs> Ew, I love that. I love mermaids too. <laughs> it wants to be cool. under the sea again. Ah, but yeah. But as a living, as a mermaid. Yeah. Well, are you are you cool with that? Yeah. Well, allow it to become a mermaid. And maybe you want to do it outside your body. When you want that, place it outside your body first. And have okay. it transform into a mermaid. Okay. Is it already done? You can yeah. take all the time you need. No, we've done it. it. We've done it. Really? Wow. And how is she already off playing or is she still close to you on the shore? Like what's going on? On the shore. Mm -hmm. On the shore. How does she look? Mm -hmm. Happy. Yeah. <laughs> like... <laughs> and also the color of her scales. Oh, um, Sh uh, blue, silver, pink, incandescent. Yeah, that shimmery. Really nice, actually. Blues and blues and pinks. Beautiful. Is she wearing a top? Um. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, I can't say. There's more scales. So maybe with some seaweed. Yeah. Nice. What's the color of her hair? Sandy colored. Nice. Is she looking at you? She's waving. She's going. Ah, uh, I just got goosebumps. How is, <laughs> it, how is it to see her go? Oh, it's good. It feels good. Yeah. And yeah. how does your stomach feel? Nice. Nice. Mm. Okay. So this feeling that you have now, is there another description maybe for it the nice so there's it feels empty spacious clear clear mm -hmm. yeah make this feeling as big as you can make it just bask in that for a moment this really and seeing the mermaid going off so you you helped the knot transform into a mermaid that's off doing her thing in the ocean 
Mm. You have space. Feel free. Just bask in that for a moment. And tell me when you feel satisfied. Yeah, it feel, yeah, it's good. It feels so much lighter. Like I'm not carrying around anymore. Mm. Amazing. So when you, because you have been working on and you have transformed the energy to flow freely again, mm. when you see yourself waking up tomorrow morning, how will you get out of bed and what will you do the first thing? I will give gratitude for waking up mm -hmm. and then I will do what I do is which is the daily energy routine which is a routine to set my energy in yeah. flow and do you feel that there's a difference to your routine now that you've been working on releasing some resistance yeah what will be different or what is different I have a pur more purpose, a sense of purpose nice. um, and clarity. Wonderful. Amazing. Sounds amazing to me. <laughs> Sounds yeah. good, doesn't it? <laughs> it does sound good. I'm, I'm, I'm joining. So whenever you feel like you want to open your eyes, you can come back to the present in the here and now physical 3D. Welcome back. Thank you. Welcome. That was powerful. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, and what I love about this, because I've done some calibrations uh, on other people as well, everyone has their own symbolism and everyone has the things that mean something to them. And so it's, it's also fun to join you on your journey and to be able to see the mermaid and see how because to me, when we started, when I first met you an hour ago, like now you feel so much lighter. You're also, it is lighter in the space where you are. You look lighter and you feel lighter, yeah. I reckon. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I love it. It's amazing. And it's so, it's so simple. Yeah. You can, everyone can do that, this for themselves. I think the more you do it, 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 it depends on who you are also, because we have blind spots and sometimes it's, we stop at a moment that someone else would be, you know, ask just the right questions that you might not ask yourself and anyone can do this with themselves as well. So. Mm. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I always, is always water always water yeah. for me and this yeah nice. well i do a lot of shamanic work and energy work anyway but always the theme of water <laughs> yeah but what, so, water cleanses water cleanses water mm. is flowing it's yeah for me the quintessential flowing energy it's water yeah thank you that was brilliant thank you danny Thank you, ladies. That was, yeah, I, I was sitting watching the, the whole session unfold. And, uh, yeah, we, we came to similar conclusions. The resistance was released. The clarity was incoming. And the sense of peace from challenges and feeling insurmountable to the next logical step. And, uh, yeah. yeah, and I'm pleased you're in a similar sort of space. And so what's really, 
for me, wonderful to get back to always because I also receive calibrations is that we have wobbles always and nothing goes wrong. All is well all the time. Like it's, it's not a, it's not all of a sudden. Yeah. Thank you, Judy. I see that too. Judy says that Sarah looks different than when she first came on brighter, happier and a glow about her. Yeah. Um, so nothing ever goes wrong. And what's so amazing is these things, this stuck energy, it doesn't feel good either. You know, it wants to transform. And it's, it's so amazing because I think I found out through watching my colleagues and watching the people that I work with and myself that we tend to judge the thing that doesn't feel good. We tend to be like, ah, no, go away. I don't, but it's, it's also like, yeah, but I don't want to be here either. I just, you know, please help me transform. And that's like, I, it's just, I love it. Yeah. Okay. I could, I could talk a long time about it. So now I'm going to shut up. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much to to Victoria and to Sarah for being vulnerable and showing up on camera and on this live stream. And you know, you've you've benefited not only yourself, but others listening in who can no doubt play it along. If you play it along, drop us a comment in the comment box. You know whether you're on Facebook or YouTube and um let us know how you got on. So thank you very much. I think that's a nice place to conclude unless any any either of you got any last thoughts, Victoria or Sarah. Nope. nope, thank you very much. <laughs> it was a pleasure. It was super nice to be here. And thank you for allowing me to do this live. You were awesome. Yeah. Okay. Mint. Thank you very much. Much love to you all. Until the next one. Bye for now.